Oi! What's going on? Happy New Year. I know it's a long time you guys been seeing me out here. So, I'm going to let you guys cuss me out and thing. Just start the first few minutes of this segment cussing me. Because I know that's what you guys want to do. Cuss me for like the next two minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, loud. Go ahead. Cuss me. Because I know I haven't been on here for a very long time. But Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody fulfills their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dreams this year, 2018. Yeah? You understand? All right. Richie, what's up? I saw Kevin Logan. Hi, Kevin. Yeah. So what's going on, everybody? Babsy's in the building. Took a little bit of a break from this whole social media thing. So I know you haven't seen me on Instagram live for a while because of the fact of... Hi, Phil Watkins. Um, I was just listening to your dub play the other day. Um, I haven't been on Instagram for a while because I've just been kind of taking a break from social media just a bit. As you guys know, I've been dealing with a very like miserable issue so just trying to figure out the best way to handle it and i realized that you know dealing with it publicly is making a lot of people feel like um they can relate and stuff like that which they can't nobody can actually relate to what i was going through there's like not one human being on the planet that could relate to what i was going through so i just took some time to just kind of figure out how I want to go for it, but we're back now, so 2018, we're ready to go. Um, so much stuff going on. I just want to say hi to everybody. I know I haven't seen a lot of you on Instagram for a while, and because a lot of you who are on Instagram, you don't have a Facebook page, you don't get to follow my day-to-day -day stuff, so I said, I think it's time for me to just get back on my Instagram lives. What do you guys think? You guys want to see me do Instagram lives? You know, I have an idea for a segment that I was going to do, so give me a heart icon if you think I should be doing like more Instagram lives. And, and comment right now and tell me how many times a week do you think I should do an IG live? Comment and tell me. If you want me to come back, put up a heart. If you want to see me a certain number of times, put the comment in the chat right now so I can see. I want to know what's going on. I want. Okay, not, uh, okay, ease off the hearts. Just put the number down below. Ease off the motherfucking hearts. Let me ease off the idea. Two times a week, Phil Watkins every day. Phil, I, Phil, what do you think this is, Phil? Five times a week. Five times a week. Maybe. Hi, Spice Bling. Three to four times a week. Hmm. Three to four? Twice a week? Okay. I'll think about maybe every Saturday. Here's what the problem is, I'll tell you guys. Before I get into the whole malicious segment and what's going on. So, um... I basically have fans in almost every single island. So, hi, Victorious Empress. Um, so, or in every country, I should say. So, what happens is, like, when I'm going live right now is 9 p.m. I'm Where I am, it's 6 p.m. And then where people are in England, it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., right? So, everybody is complaining because they don't all get to see a live segment. So... That whole idea of going live the same time every single day doesn't work because there's people in Australia that follow me that would never, ever get to see a live, right? Hey, Andre Solid, Andre Solid, please link me. Andre, link the eye. Message me in, like, now. Number everything, Andre. Brief size, shoe size, message me everything right now. So, yeah. So, um... Literally, people in Australia, New Zealand, all those places, they can't see me. You know what I mean? And I, so I can't do the same time every single day. But here's why I'm live today. Let me tell you how what happens when you reach out far and then, yeah. Right. So the other day, someone messaged me and they were like, Denise Bell Fon is getting married. Did you hear? So I'm like, Denise Belfon is getting married? How could Denise Belfon be getting married? Who's she getting married to? So anyone who knows me knows I love Denise Belfon from like way, way back in the day. Um, and, um, you know, literally, she's one of my, well, she's my mom's favorite artist. A lot of people don't know that. But my mother absolutely loves and adores Denise Belfon. So I'm messaging this motherfucker on WhatsApp. And you know when the, 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 the icon on WhatsApp is gray? I'm like, 
why is she not answering me? So I want to know if Denise Belfast is getting married. So I put up a video and she messaged me. So I'm going to get her to call in today and talk to me. And before I do that, one of the segments I wanted to talk to you guys about is like memorable moments in Soka and memorable moments in Dance Hall, which is why Denise Belfont coming on today is going to be really, really good because she had a very good memorable moment in Soka. She got in a fight, but I'm not going to talk about that today. She beat up another Soka artist, but we ain't going to talk about that today. What I want to talk about today, right, is this whole Soka Monarch drama that's going on just before she comes in. But you know how every year they're like, Do, are they going to have a Soka Monarch? They don't know. International Monarch. Rah, rah, rah. So for me, I'm thinking back in my mind and I'm like, look at all the amazing Soka Monarchs that were so memorable. One of the most memorable ones for me when I was blogging, since I've been blogging, was um, Soka Monarch in Trinidad 2013. Now, if you know me, you know that Super Blue is my artist. I absolutely love, adore Super Blue. Like, Super Blue's been my artist since I was, like, four or five years old, to the point that they called the psychiatric nurse for me at school because they thought that I was losing stability mentally because I was talking about Rebecca drink me ting, Rebecca smoke me ting. You understand? So, here's what's going on now. Super Blue comes back into Soka Monarch in 2013 now. I'm blogging now, starting to get big. So I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yo, this is going to be the biggest Soka Monarch ever now that Super Blue has returned. So Super Blue comes out with this song, Fantastic Friday. So when Fantastic Friday drops, like anybody who was around them dated, they know that Fantastic Friday like almost took over the entire world. So Fantastic Friday comes out. Super Blues entering Soka Monarch. Now, me, I'm going to tell you, back in the days when I wasn't a blogger, I was a broke-ass motherfucker. Everybody know that I've been broke since I was born. Okay? So, I couldn't really pay the pay-per-view $59 link for Soka Monarch in Trinidad and all these links, so I had to search for the bootlegged link. I needed the bootlegged links because the bootlegged link was how people like me who absolutely love soca music, like people don't get it. Soca music to me is like the Super Bowl to people. Like Chelsea Manor and B Barcelona and them people. Like Soca Monarch is my life. My life doesn't start till Soca Monarch comes in. Like every country Soca Monarch is vital to my survival. People don't get that. People want to talk about Super Bowl and men in tights. I don't care about that shit. Soka Monarch gives me life. Soka Monarch gives me wings. Anyhow, so now I'm looking around for this bootlegged link and I'm ready to pay $99 for a link. They had a link for $99, but you know these Trickadadians came through last minute, so I get the bootlegged life. So I wake up the morning of Fantastic Friday 2013 and I'm sick. My belly's in knots. I can't do anything because I'm like, oh my God, Super Blue has to win Soka Monarch this year. But you know, Mashal, that motherfucker, the monk. You know he gonna bring it. So now I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen this year because Blue has to win Monarch. I will die tomorrow if Blue doesn't win Monarch. So get up, drink my tea, whole day, belly and nuts, got gas pain crippling me, but I'm gonna watch motherfucking Soka Monarch tonight. Don't call my phone. Anybody who call my phone, I can curse them because Soka Monarch is tonight. So you know Super Blue comes out now with my tune. So when Blue comes out now, you know, you're the, the, the horn and everything, right? When Blue comes out now, the crowd goes fucking crazy. Like, I've never seen a crowd go this mad at this. Like, it was like madness of the people fed, you know. Madness of the people fed. Hi, cheeky mama. So now, he comes out in this blue cape and he's wrapped up. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, super, super, super. And I'm just like, listen to me. We got this. Like, I felt like when people are like, the Patriots going to win the Super Bowl. Like, I'm just like, yo, it's over. It's done. Ma we got this. Marshall, go home, Marshall. And I love Marshall, but not more than Super Blue. So, Super Blue comes on this blue cape and everything. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but the bouncing start, the bouncing start, the bouncing start. And he pulls off his cape. And then he's like, ay, 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 the party start. Fantastic Friday. And the fucking place went mad, yo. And I'm here crying in the background. I'm like, yo, monarch, blue steps back from adversity. And then he gets to be Soka, monarch of the world again. That's how you do it. That's how you show these motherfuckers. They can't hold you down. They can't keep you down. 
So, first verse got you blues swinging it now. So, you know now, second verse come in. And in my mind, I'm like, Super Blue starting to drag. I'm like, why is this nigga dragging in this track right now? He needs to basically win this Blue, you're dragging. Because you know Super Blue's like 60-something years old. So he now throw off the cape. All he fire out. Now the man started to just like go downhill. So now I'm like, what is this motherfucker doing right now? This motherfucker gonna lose my dark this year, boy. So now I start crying like real tears. Before I was crying happy tears. All right? Now I'm crying real tears because I'm like, Super Blue is going to lose this shit. And he's flipping the microphone in his hand. And then he just says, like, you know, uh, I, well, I pray and I pray every day. And he's dragging. But you know the fucking backups. These backup singers, they need to have a backup singer awards. These backup singers for Super Blue that year, God bless you. The only backup singers that were better than them is Richie Spice backup singers. Richie Spice has the hardest backup singers in the world, you know. So Super Blue now dragging in the song. And I'm like, this 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 motherfucker ain't gonna make it. This motherfucker gonna pass out before this song done because I could hear the tiredness. You know, you can hear the, the fag outness. Like that's what they're calling it, yeah, fag out in Barbados. Not as a fag as in Buller Man. I'm not cursing Bullers. He fag out, right? So I'm like, this motherfucker blue is not gonna make it through this song. So I crying now you know everybody's like babsy but in the house mom like i'm like shut up woman this man gotta get you this song blue you gotta get you this track so anyhow super blue starts dragging 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 backups holding him up then this motherfucker decides he wants to climb up on this pole thing so i'm like nigga get your ass down sorry Faye and lines for calling your father nigga but i'm like nigga get your ass off that where do rassle you going climbing up there now you got to get you the song you can't even sing the song but you climbing up a pole to get up there you know my shell gonna come out here and fuck up you you know nigga get your ass off that so he's up there now with the microphone and he's singing and i'm like get your ass off that thing boy bring your rassle down from up there what do rassle you doing so I crying even more just because I said, no, look at this cunt, Super Blue gone and fuck up, he rassles up. He gone up on the fucking tower to climb up there. Who you gone up there for? You is not Marshall and them people. Get your ass from up there. Anyhow, he managed to come and tie first for Marshall. So I didn't have an actual nervous breakdown, but I was close to having one. Memorable moments in Soka. If you want me to tell you more memorables and moments in Soka, leave a comment below and tell me what day you want me to come back and tell you the next one. Because I got many, but I cried so much tears that day. I tell you, the next two days I couldn't even pee because I was dehydrated from the tears. I cry. I cry. I'm telling you. Cry real tears, you know. I couldn't believe I said myself, man, Blue, you had this thing, boy. You could have beat my shell, but then you want to fuck up the thing and you're going to climb up there. Get your ass from up there. Denise Belfont ready to call in here now. Let me talk to Denise Belfont and get some maliciousness. Denise sent me the invite there. So no, you know me. I said, Super Blue, get your ass off that thing. If I ever see Blue in real life, I'm going to say, Blue, Denise sent me an invite there to come chat in the conversation. Go live with, let me see, where you is? I'm going to send you the invite. I know how to work this thing, you know. So I there having a nervous breakdown because I said, this man, what do you wrestle this man? You can go send me the invite. There's a lot of people in here. You're going to send me the invite. Send me an invite to, to, to chat live with me. So yeah, so I was so upset. I cried. I couldn't pee for two days. Two whole days I couldn't pee because I know water to pee because the tears that come down my face. When I see them say, Super Blue and Marshall tied for first, I was like, God bless Blue. You could have fuck up every Russell thing here, you know? And people just, you see people freaking out over Super Bowl and thing. And then they want to come and talk to me about freaking out over Soka Monarch. Love me, man. One of them go and watch men in tights running boat. And one of, nobody can't tell one of nothing. But I hear in, investing in my, my culture and one of got taught from me. Man, no. This year, this year, Soka Monarch, don't message me. Don't message me. When Faye and when we gonna talk about that. Because she did pregnant. And she beat she husband. I trying to send. Here's Denise Belfon. Okay, let me send a request. She coming on. Denise gonna come in. Where's the request? Denise Belfont sent it. Send the request again, Denise. I don't know how you work this Facebook, this Instagram live thing. Send the request again. I'm trying to get Denise in here. Denise Belfont now. I told you, somebody told me that she get she getting married. So I was just like, Denise Belfont can't be getting married. She can't be getting married. 
because let me tell you, she ain't tell me nothing. So I put up the video and I was like, Denise, if you rascal getting married, God bless, you better, you better invite me. I'm trying to see how I can get this. Oh, it's saying share. Send the invite. Somebody tell me how to invite Vimini's Belfon in this thing. Cancel. I'm trying to get her. Hold on, man. There's so many of you, I can't. I can't get she because I can't find she on the list. She's going to send me a request. So, yeah, Soka Monarch to me is life. I see you, Denise, but you have to send me a request. Okay, I pin you. You have to send me a request to go in my life. How does she do that, people? In the comments, right? You should see. Let me try. Let me try. Turn it off. I know how to work this thing. You see her? I see her in the chat, but she has to send me the invite so that I can accept her into the conversation. But I don't know how to do that. And I'm trying to send her the invite. And there's too many of you. There's too many of you in the chat. So I spin in this around. All right. We gon we gon we gonna work this out. It won't let me invite nobody. It won't let me invite nobody. Here what I can do. I'm gonna end this right now and restart a new one and try it again. We gonna end this and retry this again. Let we go. Let we go. All right. Go live with somebody. Here we go. Let me try this again. We back here cranking. Let me come back. Right. Good. Starlight gate. I see all the wanna coming in now. When I see she come in. Yo, there's so many Russell wanna in this thing. God bless. Send me the correct request now, Denise. Send me. She getting married. And if she don't invite me. Hi, Ratty. Hi, Sim Sima. New life. I'm trying to get her. This is what happens when West Indian people, you know, we ain't really know what's going on here. Hey! There she is. Okay, so Denise, when you go in the comments, you should see request to be in your video. That's There's a request button you got to press for me. That's what you got to do. So that's what we're trying to work out. You got to do that. And because there's so many people in here and I can't, I can't search by name. You got to. Okay, Connie Roy, cancel your request, please. I need Connie Roy to cancel her request. I'm trying to find Denise Belfond now. Denise, I want to get it. I want this. It's just saying you unable to join. Hmm. Here what I can do. I ain't gonna let she join. I gonna WhatsApp ya in here. Look there now, look she there. Look people, <laughs> Denise, Miss Belfon. Look, let me tell you yes, right. So. Let me get you so that you can see this comments and thing good. Listen, girl, you look good though. <laughs> Thank you. You look, you look real. Thank you very much. You look, you look real good, man. What I, I, I say I thought it was the Obia woman shine, but is the, is the, is the next sort of shine. But how's the, how's the um, Trinidad Carnival? How's Trinidad Tr Carnival treating you this year? Well, um, I'm getting some really good reviews, some good ratings. Um, the songs that I have out, especially um, something down there. Um, Taillight, where I'm, where I'm featured Lady Lava, and I have one called um, Wine Punnet with Talpri. Those three songs are getting a lot, a lot of love, a lot, a lot of love. Yeah. Everybody can't wait to see me perform this. I'm in New York right now, and I'm heading down there like two days before Ladies Night Out. Ladies Night Out is on the 26th of January. Right. And... Uh, I have, a, I have two huge ones, one in San Fernando on the 8th of February, 
and then the biggest, biggest one to end up the carnival before Carnival Monday and Tuesday, insomnia on the 10th of February. Okay, so listen what the people telling me to tell you. They said to exit the yeah. video, exit my video uh, and come back in and you can pop up again to come in. So exit exit my instagram thing they know so we gotta right. do tech we gotta do technical support online you see babsy listen you see why they, them, not, they, them next bloggers is to never talk about me you know offering technical support to, to soca artists and thing so they say exit the live for me and then come back in and then i should be able to see you to, right. to, to invite you so i'm gonna hang up here and we're gonna try this again all right okay good all right cool she look good huh i tell you I I say all this months gone by, the Belfon looking real good, and then I find out that she getting married. But we gonna deal with she now. We gonna deal with she now. Deal with she scun no. Watch it, dear. It's still saying she unable to join. I you know. Rex Wagwan. She will see the request and she has to ask. Right. So I don't know. If she can't figure it out. She can't figure it out. If we don't get her, I'll just add her back. Ice technical support for these artists, I'm telling you. That's why, that's why this year, that's why this year, hey, big up skinny, big up yourself. That's why this year, I done supporting artists, new artists. If you is a new artist and you want my help, you can't get no help from me. I ain't helping none of one again. I helping my old foundation artists like Lil Rick, Peter Ram. All them sort of people there, that's who I help in. So see, look, I see a request here. So when I say view, go live. I've never do this before. Right. She declined. Right. So that's the request. The request should still be there. Just saying. So I see like sexy nurse. Enjoy. I see. Let me try skinny. Skinny. See, except this skinny. I'm coming here. Just and then I just want to see what it's gonna do, and then I can hang up on you. But accepting, accept it. Yeah. So. Why am I on your life? But that's how it works. You look, you're looking very. It works. Now cut me off. <laughs> you're looking very dark skin today, though. You get in sun and think where you is. I gone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, so he popped up at the bottom. So when Denise comes in, why can't I get she in here? Thank you, Skinny. Love you so much. Yeah, I was just saying she's unable to join. I don't know why. Yo, Des, I got your message today. I talked to Nisi. Don't, don't, don't cuss, don't, 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 don't cuss, don't cuss Skinny. She ain't gonna be able to do it. I can call she back, man. I can call she back. I can call she back. Thank you, Skinny. I love you so much. So we can call she. Let her scroll to the top of the chat. Yeah, it, it ain't coming. Yeah, it's say, it just saying you can't request me. So anyhow, we, yeah, we can talk to you right here. So anyhow, so you say the 10th, go on and tell me the events you're going to be at. Because I come in Trinidad, but I'm going to cuss you in a minute. But tell me all the good things first before I cuss you. <laughs> um, January 26th, ladies night out. The 8th in San Fernando doing something for some good people down there. Right. Um. Tenth, I'm gonna be doing insomnia, so that that's the major major ones I'm talking about. But I have all the, all the smaller events and all the corporate events, you know, leading up to those dates and stuff. Sweet, sweet. So you're having a good year. You feel you feel like why how come you just don't compete in soca monarch no more? Because I've I've outgrown that. Okay. I don't mean to sound like you know. No. Just all that, but Listen, I if your chest high, your chest high, you know. If your chest high, it raw so high, you can't say it low and it high. If you don't want to go in the thing, you don't go in the thing. Let me just explain why, though. Um, I've been in the industry for 23 years now, and um, I don't think that it's fair that anybody could come and say that I don't deserve 
a place in the Soka Monarch finals. And then to see these upstarts who now start singing, come and bypass me and bypass Iowa and bypass Bungie and whoever else in the, in the arena that is, you know, that is of high stature and caliber. And after all of this, they want to think that they could come and step in my shoes. Hey. At the end of the day, talent is talent. But who is to say that you have the right to judge and, and, and put somebody there before who, who paved the way before them and that kind of thing? At the end of the day, it's all about good music, great presentation, performance, and everything. And at the end of the day, I am the greatest at what I do. So. But it's, it, it, it's saying that. Let me. I don't mean to interrupt you, but when you learn, how old you was when you learned to start whining? Because I find that you got like an Obia woman whine. You're just whining heels. You're just whining stilettos. Listen, you, 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 you just do this. I, I don't understand. Like you could be down in the lowest squat and you just still whine steady and perfect. Like, like you, you could give out whining lessons this year. Like. The people in the chat, I find if you go on. Sorry, honestly, I am now really getting serious in the sense where I'm finally, I've finally decided to give the ladies the opportunity to come and learn to dance with Saucy. Over the years, ladies have always asked me, you know, when it is your kids give lessons, Saucy, Saucy will come, Saucy up your wine in school, Saucy up my class now. So I'm in New York doing that. Yeah. Um, Atlanta has requested it. Boston has requested it. Baltimore has requested it. Um, Philly has requested it. Um, Trinidad and Tobago has requested it. So I'm just saying, I'm ready, ladies. Leverage the I'm band, band them. Leverage the brand for them, Denise. Leverage the rats or brand. You understand? Anyhow, <laughs> let me deal with you because I, I hear a little rumor the other day, right? <clears throat> But Denise, you feel like a giveaway, my sources. If I tell you who tell me, then you ain't gonna tell them nothing ever again. And then I ain't gonna get the news. But that it don't work so I can't tell you that. Okay, mom. All right. So so but I tell you this and I go say this. I I see your Instagram photos and thing over the last year. And I say to myself, right. you're looking real happy. You're looking real peppin the stepish. You know, you're looking real chipper. You know, you, you, you're looking like the ray of sunshine. So I say to myself, I, I don't know what's going on there. So I look in and I see like big ring on your hand and thing. And I just say, well, I mean, if, if Denise getting married, you know, I will got to be at the Russell wedding. So what's going on there? What you could, what you could give the little fans here watching to, to understand now? Tell me what you could tell me. Tell me what you, you ain't gonna regret tomorrow. Tell me what you could tell me. Well, one thing I don't ever regret anything. Everything that I do, good, bad, or indifferent, it's something that I learned over the years that it, it, it makes you who you are. It builds you, it makes you stronger. It, it, it gives you that leverage over the average person or leverage in general. So I don't regret nothing. Sometimes I might misbehave and I might do some things where, you know, I might hurt um, whoever I might be with. And when, when that's done, I feel really, really stupid because, you know, at the end of the day, you have to know what you have, you have to know what you want, and you have to do the things to make sure and maintain it and keep it. Right. Keep that what you claim that you really want and love. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm only human, and you know, people mess up, people fuck up, and and I am I'm not I'm not, you know, too egotistical to say that I fuck up and I that I don't care, I care, and when I do that, I I I I'm sorry, I'm right. really sorry. I I want any any relationship that I'm in to work, right? Business, professional. So so let we let we. Let let me co talk because I, I, I think you, I find you related to my fiance, Kevin. You, you, you're long winded. We want the juice. So you're walking. Okay. Give me, give me, give me, give me out of 10. Am I, am I warm? Like, am I 8 out of 10? 7 out of 10? Give me, give me a score out of 10. We want the straight wind, not the long wind, right? Come, give me the scoop. All I have to tell you, all I have to tell you is that I'm 
all I have to tell you is that I'm very happy. Right. I haven't been this happy in years. Yes. With with someone, with right. a partner. Right. And after the last two years of beating that I got where I lost nine family members in the case of two years, including my mother and my grandmother, who, who I was so close to, I'm very, very contented and happy with the way my life is going right now. Good. In general. Good. Because you have unexpensive sunglasses. Don't, you know, you know, that be malicious, right? So at the sunglasses, expe like, look, let me tell you, you that's know how I. That's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift that I got from a friend. Oh, Lord. You see this friend talk? <laughs> but here's what I'm going to do. I ain't going to hold up your whole night. You give, you give me more than you give, you give anybody else. So I'm feeling sweet to myself. I'm going to let everybody know how to follow you on Instagram, send you messages and things. Download some of your music in iTunes. Go in iTunes and type in Denise Belfont, people, and pay the 99 cents and, and just download some of the tracks for the woman, the man. Kakalele and them things, man. You have to just support the people because these are the artists that come back out every single year despite adversity and every issue they have in their life, and they try to keep our culture alive. So the That's people funny. like Belfon and them, you have to rate them. You know what I mean? Like, I, my mother, I, my mother, Denise Belfon is my mother's favorite artist. Because when she starts to go whine, my mother would be like, Lord, she good. You know, like, she just always be like, Lord, she just drop it low and stick it good, you know. And you come back every single year and you do your thing, you know what I mean? So people have to support these kinds of artists, not the artists that go around and cuss people and, disrespect people in interviews and stuff is people like you guys that we have to throw the support behind you know what i mean because you yeah. paved the way for women and things so you know for everybody for women for men for everybody in the industry yes. i've done that 23 years is not a it's not an easy feat it's not an easy task to stay on top of your game to stay relevant 23 right. years means a lot it yeah. says a lot true and i thank the people that that I have, you know, supporting me and there for me, like Princess Chow, my children, Daniel, Isabella, Cassandra, my Aunt Carol, you know, um, Princess Family, you, Babsy, even though you, 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 like to, you like to slander my name ever so often. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true, true. Send me that Rascal dub plate in the morning. Here I want dub plate in my inbox. Right. Any y'all, girl, I love you. We go talk soon, huh? All right, girl, bye. Bye, be good. Okay, good. Yes, people. So, let's pick sense from nonsense, because you know I know Z. She got a man. That's what she's trying to tell me. She got a rascal man. But she don't want to talk up. Because, listen, I hear she ex-man real jealous and thing, you know. I hear he was just like, they lose a good woman and all them sort of talk there. So, you know, Bazzi just get the juice and the juicy. I think we should call this segment Juicy. Yes. Next week, let me see who, who should I bring in next week, Thursday. Next week, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We going to come back here and get some juice from somebody. Who you want me to get juice from? Put a comment there now. I'm gonna go call, I gonna go and message them now. Who you want me to bring in here next week, Thursday, in the juicy segment? Juicy. T juicy better sponsor me too, yeah. I call in them name very vicious. Trin nah. What's up? Yes, she got a man and she happy. Who I bring in next week? Who? Bungie. 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 She got a man. I ain't care what she say. Denise can't trick me. My name is Carla Denise Fontaine. So you know when we people got the same name, then there's no certain thing. Patrice Roberts. Okay, so I see Bungie, Patrice Roberts, Skinny, Patrice Roberts. Two for Patrice Roberts. Two for Patrice Roberts. You can do dance all artists too, you know. Destra. So Patrice, three for Patrice Roberts. Patrice Roberts in the lead. Oh, you want me to get Patrice Roberts? Allison Hines. Mm. So Bungie, Skinny, Allison. Two for Skinny. Look, give me a name there, man. Destra. Two for Destra. Patrice in the lead. Patrice in the lead. Patrice or Skinny. Patrice still in the lead. Patrice is still in the lead. Patrice, Skinny, Destra. Here, what we gonna do? I gonna try. I gonna get. It's gonna be down. Okay. Who say Kev Z? Wait. You want Skinny Fabulous? Kerwin Dubois. Allison Hines. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a coin between three people. Allison Hines, Skinny Fabulous, and Patrice Roberts. I ain't gonna tell you who I can get because I could get all three of them one time, cause you know I was Babsy and I hard to all hard to fucking tell the other other bloggers stop fucking around me, nah. But yeah, so anyhow, I'm going to see out of them three. So we're going to get either Allison Hines, we're going to get Skinny, or we're going to get Patrice Roberts. Allison Hines, Skinny, Patrice Roberts for the Juicy segment next week. Juicy! I, I, I wonder if I can get a bottle of Juicy to pose off with. And tell them other vloggers stop talking about me. Them can't get fucking Denise Belfort on the live. Tell them other vloggers go and get Denise Belfort on the live. Denise ain't going to talk to the rest of them. She's only talked to respectable people. You know what I'm saying? People who have respect and good Malaysian Bajan hair. You don't care what they say. Talking about eyeball. You the ball-headed bitch. Why you always wearing a wig? That would be correct. I have no fucking hair on my head. My hair has patches that are this long. So if I showed you my real hair, you would be out here saying, Babsy looks stink and Babsy this. I would rather you say I always in fake hair and it look good than you see my real hair and it looks stink. Carry your rass hole. I'm not showing you my real hair until it grows back in. So whatever you, oh, you're wearing European hair? I go wear whoever it comes from. Whoever want food next week and donate in here, we gonna buy them. We gonna buy them. That's how it does work. We gon' bite them. If you're hungry, shave off your head and we can feed you. But stay out of people wrestle business about them ball-headed. Yes, them fucking ball-headed. Carry a cunt. Carry none about you. Talking about, oh, black women, you should be. Black woman, bald. This black heifer ain't got no motherfucking hair. So what you want me to do? Walk around with no bald head. People call me Movado. Yo, I'm an artist. Fuck you guys. I already went natural and got fucked up by all y'all people. People thinking I was Shabba ranks in fucking them days. Um, what was it? Ting a ling a ling when he had the Gumby type hairstyle. That's how my hair grow in, all slanted and thing. People thought I was Shabba ranks. Want me to get a job plate and all kind of thing. I Babsy. I fucking got my ball head lean up on the side and thing. I'm like, yo, Shabba ranks. Why, why? No, fuck you. Shabba ranks, your mother. Oh, Shabba. I ain't look so bad. 
So you can't trick me and drag me out of this fake hair chain. You stay in here, right here. If I ball and I proud, you ain't calling me Shaba. I Babsy. Same amount of bees, I think. But anyhow. Bye, guys. Next week, tell me. I think I'm going to. I won't tell you what I'm going to get. But you guys just make sure the notifications are on. Tell your friends. Juicy segment next week, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The new juicy segment. That's what we call it. J U C hyphen. No, that's Ju C. I done. That's kind. Aren't I? Maybe I should have stayed in school. Love everybody. Bye. Thank you, Skinny. Thank you, all you guys. Bye. Bye, Soka Junkie. Bye, Dev Sexy. Bye. Dear Babsy, tomorrow night on my Facebook page, Facebook Live, Dear Babsy, we got some nasty stories for After Dark, though. Make sure you're on my Facebook page, Babsy at Large. Love you guys. Bye.